So, it's a project of wireless body and network for medical supervision. So, in this project, we are using this uh, heartbeat sensor to monitor the patient heartbeat and this is temperature sensor. So, we are going to mount this temperature sensor on the, on the body surface or in armpits to get the body temperature of the patient. So, this monitor, uh, this temperature will be monitored by the microcontroller. So, here is using the microcontroller of 28 pin microcontroller. This is the 16F876A. Okay, it's 28 pin microcontroller. So, for this microcontroller, we are interface the LCD to the B ports, okay, and a GSM modem at B0, B1 pins, and uh, this ZigBee module, okay, so interface the C6, C7 pins, and put to A4 of the microcontroller interfacing of, uh, we interface the, this uh, heartbeat sensor, okay, so and also the temperature sensor for A0, this all, uh, this total thing is of the EVO section is the number, so the EVO section is called RPS section, the regular pass supply section, that's one. So the main purpose of this regulator power supply section is so here is a transformer. The regulator power supply section block diagram sir. Block sir, transformer, two step down the 230 volts. From this wire we get the 230 volts and you step down the 230 volts to 12 volts ACs and the, this is a rectifier DB107 and this is a filtration regulation. So after that you will get the exactly 5 volts constant DC. So when you apply this, when you get this 5 volts DC to this microcontroller, it start monitoring of the heartbeat and the temperature. This is getting reading from the heartbeat sensor and the temperature. These two values will be displayed on the LCD and parallelly the two values will be sent to the central station. Central station through Zigbee. And as we know that Zigbee is a multi point to point communication. Means we can get the multiple patients data in the only one station. This is the same Zigbee station. Okay, and the GSM modem, so in any case of abnormal conditions, like high heart rate or low heart rate or high temperature, you get the alerts. Okay, the alerts can be sent to the predefined numbers or also dynamic numbers. We can store the numbers also. Fine, so initial thing is we need to first, okay, first thing is, as I told you that, we need to insert the SIM card or step that should be valid. No PUK number lock. It should be lock on. Unlock. So unlock only. Okay, and inbox should be clear. No inbox full should be empty inbox, okay? Then we need to insert that SIM card into the GS or GSM model. As I told you that how to insert the SIM card also. So after that, give the supply to the GSM model from this adapter, yes. okay? So after uh, connect the adapter to the 2 volt supply, this LED link is on, okay? This is indicating of power supply, okay? And here the yellow LED is there now. This yellow LED is indicating of signal. So if it blinks at a random duration of 3 seconds, indicating of it's got the signal, the SIM card, the inserted SIM card got the signal. Okay, so to get the confirmation, you can make a call to the SIM card also. You can make a call now. Can I call? Can you call to this number? So, SIM card to Mary Boss is not. Miss, do you know this number? SIM card is in the SIM card. Check my number, H. I'll make a call. H. You are a roaming, right? Yes. Roaming number? Yes, sir. Fine. So when you make a call to that number, I think, uh, sir, there is not a SIM card, sir. That's my SIM card. Okay, sir. Okay. <laughs> so if you make a call to this number, the green, the side LED is there, I'm a green LED. The green LED will blinking, same. Let check. we can on the motherboard okay so when you on the motherboard the LCD will welcome us with the welcome message okay ma so after that it will go on initializing of GSM modem if the GSM modem properly initialized it will ask for please insert the finger into this finger thing module this is a, sorry the grip sensor so we need to Fine. 
what is it? No problem. So in this fingerprint model, ma, we need to place our finger, finger one, sorry, grip type sensor, so heartbeat sensor. So in this sensor one, so we need to place our finger like in the 45 degrees of angle, it's like this. Okay. So then only we'll get the proper heart rate. Then on the motherboard. So it will display the live heart rate. So if the heart rate is above 90, then it will display the high heart rate. Okay? And the body temperature also. So for the heart rate feedback, so you can uh, get this LEDs and a blue LED. So it blinks according to the heart rate. See? The blue LED is the number. Yes. It's blinking. So when it blinks, then only the microcontroller is calculating that the heart present heart rate. Okay? So now send a health message. For this example. Now we will go with the sending a health message. So it will, it will inform to the, the system will inform to you how to interact with the device. Help. So we send a small address, should be the small address or the small characters. We send a health message, we send you the reply of to get the live parameters of the patient, send GET to know about the project about what. Right? So when you send out into On the LCD display, when you send the SMS, if it is displayed that, uh, like, uh, if it is displayed number only, then the message was received properly. Otherwise, the mistake was made, the message ending only, the message problem only, then we will send once again the same message. Okay? Right, we will get the reply now. The reply is now. And as I told you, when you connect this device, the receiver part is in a PC section. So when you cut the PC section to the PC, initially it will display the, the company name and then after when you are on this device. In our project the demonstration is like, first of all the SIM card, then supply to the JSM modem, then wait till the signal received by the SIM card, then after on the mother, on the PC section. Open the iPad terminal. I think you know how to open the iPad terminal. Yes. Start, accessories, communications, iPad terminal, any name, board it is, DOS, restore defaults. Then after, on the mother, on the, that board. Okay, then you'll get the, the company name. And then after, when you're on this motherboard, means one, two, and three. The PC section, this section. So you know, on this one, on the iPad terminal, will display that starts. The start was sending from this one only. Okay, after sending the start from the motherboard, it is next second by second by second, it will send the heart rate along with the temperature of the patient. Okay? Right. Thank you.